Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to use data entry form in Nesia where you can add so many data entry in this table that I created here. Alright, in today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find Hanover adding in Nesia. Hanover is a Short form of analysis of variance in Nesia is the single and two factor method used to perform a noon hypothesis test, which says if the test will pass for new hypothesis, also if, if all the population values are exactly equal to each other, if any or at least one value is different from other values, then the null hypothesis will be failed. To perform Hanover test in the from the data menu tab, go to data analysis, then data and then under the analysis section, and from there select Hanover, which is the single factor among other listed Hanover tests. Select the input and output range as required. As required, once we get the output, we could conclude. We could conclude if we can consider or reject the data on the basis of the comparison of F and the F critical values. If F is less than the F critical value, then we can consider the no hypothesis as passed. Hence, it is failed. Hanover stands for analysis of variance, as I said it earlier in a Z, and it's a, it's a, a Z statistical method that is used to test difference between two or more men. Okay, so why would we use Hanover in a Z? In Microsoft Excel, ANOVA is one of is one way analysis of variance that is used to determine the factors of those mean that are statistically significant or not. And where the mean square denotes the variance between the sample mean, that is, it is simply test the known hypothesis. Okay, so now let's discuss how to find another heading in the Z. In the Z, we can add the heading either by downloading from the internet or by purchasing the specific heading. Nowadays, we can find a whole number of headings in on the internet which are available for download. A Z comes with headings which are names data analyzer server and etc okay and few of the com heading which we can have in the z are power pivot power query power view etc now let's now delve into how the steps to to add the headings in the z that is the anova heading in the z okay we in Z, headings are always grouped under the data data menu by default. If the Z does not have the heading, heading data menu will not appear right here. Okay. In, in order to add the heading in Z, now follow the step I'm going to show you now. Okay. Now the first thing is that in, in your Z program. Just navigate to file menu right here. You can see just navigate to file menu and click on it. So now come down and choose what well, the option menu right here. However, in other version we can find the option the option called Excel option. Okay, you can see it right here. So you can find it in the in the whole version like what. Now we get the Excel option dialog box window as shown on my screen okay now we can see the heading right here at the bottom, at the down left hand side and now click on the heading it's okay just click on the heading you can see once we click on the heading we will get to the window as shown on my screen where it shows a list of headings okay 
a list of headings okay the first part right here you can see you can see the first part right here is the active heading which are installed and which are being used in Excel and the second part shows the inactive heading that are no longer available in Excel at the bottom of the window we can see manage option where we can manage hardens okay over here you can see them okay now in the in the manage option we have hardening okay we have hardings option like a zero hardening okay com hardening action xml expansion pack disable items and so on so let's see how to hard Hardens by following this step now down click on the active cell okay just click on the any of the active cell right here and so you can say okay i'm going to choose the analytic two packs okay here and navigate to, to the bottom here okay we can see the manage hardening okay at the drop down box in that select hardening okay just select Hardening and then click on what okay you can see as a hardening just click on what go option now once we do that we get the hardening window as shown above on my screen now the analysis to part contain a set of hardening that we allow us to choose to choose to choose it to, to choose it right now we can see that analysis to park we can see the analysis analysis to park analysis to park which is meant for vba we can see euro currency tools we can also see the server hardening right here okay now check mark all of them okay i'm going to check mark all of them okay and um, so that selected hardening would be we get display in the data menu now want to do that after done that we have to check whether it has been it, it it has been added to the data menu so now let's click on what okay button okay now once you do that now go to the data menu you can see it right up here go to the data menu and at the right side right hand side we can see that ha hiding ha hiding we shown at the top here you can see here you can we can see the data tab okay the the data you can see the data tab and then the data analysis has been added under the analysis work group you can see them right here hanover in is there is very simple and easy to use in my next video i'm going to show you how to use hanover in a zen using single factor built-in tools with some different example thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exact function bye and stay blessed